So you are provided with the information from the books of Kyle's office equipment for the year ended 29 Feb 2016. The business sells office desks, chairs, and printers. So three items, desks, chairs, printers. Guys, you need to be very careful as to what you're looking at. So it's the 2016 financial year, but we'll need comparison figures, right? So here's 2015, here's 2016. So when they ask about desks, only look at desks. When they ask about chairs, only look at chairs and so on and so on. You get the idea. So required, provide relevant figures for all the questions below. So remember, it's like a monkey see, monkey do. Whatever they tell you to do, look at that. Compare the two figures. Tell me if it increased or decreased. And sometimes they'll give you a more like analytical type question. What would you do? Okay, let's have a look at these questions. I am going to color code it. Um, also, feel free to pause the video now and try these questions out on your own. Okay, so desks. What decision did Kyle take regarding the selling price of the desks? So if you look very carefully, he increased the selling price from 1920 to 2520 That's it. That's all you say. Finished. Next. How has this decision affected the business? State two points. Okay, so the first answer was relatively basic, right? It was just two marks. This is a four marker, so we need a bit more meat on this answer. So if you look very carefully, gross profit, it increased from... 259,200 to 336,000. The stock turnover rate, it decreased from 7,2 to six times. The orders of desks decreased to 300 units and the sales of desks decreased to 300 units as well. So remember, these are just orders that we received and that's what we actually uh, sell and just factoring in some returns there. So anything along those lines would have scored you the mark. I love, I love saying that, like in all my videos, I love saying anything along those lines. It makes me sound like such a posh, knowledgeable tutor, anything along those lines. Or like in the English videos, I like to say like a sense of, alludes to, you know, like higher grade kind of stuff. I don't know, it makes me sound like so posh, you know, but like I like to keep the lessons super, super chill. But anyway, let's continue. Cheers. Was it a good idea for Kyle to change to a cheaper supplier of chairs explain two points so yes or no will definitely give you that first mark and the other four marks are coming from your two points so it's going to be two times two which is equal to four so chairs if you just pause the video and have a look i think the answer is quite evident um it's no definitely no and here's why the gross profit decreased from 148,920 to 95,200. The returns increased from zero to 90. Ooh, that's very, very bad. We're selling bad quality goods. The cheaper price of 490 rands, so now from 714, it decreased to 490. That cheaper price, it did not affect the stock turnover rates, uh, which remained constant. So we're selling stock at the exact same rate. So no, bad decision. And let's take a look at printers. So Kyle significantly reduced the selling price of printers in the 2016 financial year in response to a new competitor who sells the same model at 1,200 rands. Based on the information below, provide two separate suggestions to Kyle to improve the profit on printers in 2017. Yo, what a mouthful there. Like I'm hungry after, after saying all of that. <laughs> okay, let's continue, be serious. So printers, what do you guys think? Again, pause the video if you like. So here are some possible suggestions, right? So two separate suggestions. Again, it's going to be two times two, which give you, which gives you the four mark there. Sorry, small Concord error. So Kyle should increase the price. So any figure between 975 and 1,200. So he's selling it currently for 975 rands. His competitor is selling it for 1,200. So look, that's a massive difference. That's 225 rands. That is material. So don't make it cheaper and don't make it more expensive than 1,200 rands. So if I could use an inequality here, sorry to give you guys some like math trauma, but this is what I mean. And X now is indicative of the price that we should increase it to. If it's more than 1,200, they're just gonna buy it for your competitor. If it's less than 975, well, yeah, I, I guess it's okay, but are you gonna get more, are you gonna make more sales? If not, maybe increase it to like 1050. 
oh one zero nine nine. I don't know. I like this nine nine. This like psychological pricing. I think it works. Um, or also simply increase the markup. But by increasing the markup, you're also increasing the selling price. So that would be suggestion one. Uh, suggestion two. Maybe you should plan the purchase of printers. So follow up on orders to meet the demand of nine hundred and twenty-five units. So guys. He received 925 orders, but he only managed to sell 725 in 2016. That's 200 orders that we couldn't meet because of, well, poor stock control. So he would need to, in other words, improve the stock turnover rate of 11,8. Okay. Um, some other answers here, which I know a few of you were thinking, like find a cheaper supplier, request deposits from customers, payment in advance... Um, negotiate a trade discount on purchases that wouldn't be enough even with the substantiation to score two marks um, that would just score you one mark so be very careful look at the information scrutinize it and try your best to answer the question it's not that difficult but uh, of course school and school is gonna say something like that cool thanks for watching the video